Hello, right. Welcome to the first in a few in regards to beginners video making. This is for people that has never ever made their own video or cut their own video or, or added music etc etc. So if you know how to make videos this really isn't for you. Now for the purpose of these videos I'm going to be using for the duration hit film and I'm going to use hit film because there is an a version which is totally free called HitFilm Express. Um, I personally have got HitFilm Pro so what I want you to do let me know in the comments if you see anything which I do in HitFilm Pro that you haven't got in HitFilm Express please let me know straight away so that I know not to use that button. The reason I suggest using HitFilm Express is because it is as I say free it allows you to create videos and to cut videos and to add audio um, whereas other software has have free versions but they've got some sort of handicap where you can't save the video or you can't upload it or something like that. HitFilm allows you to do a full video making routine uh, for free. Okay let's make a starter so when you first open hit film you get to the home screen which looks something like this so we're going to create a new project so click new ignore that you won't see that you'll see this um, we'll keep it as 1080 30 frames per second click OK audio will change to 44.1 but yours will probably default to 44.1 Hit OK, it gives it, give it a few seconds to kick in and then it will uh, start a brand new project page. View, let's have a look. I'm going to reset the workspace. This is probably what yours will look like, something similar. Now I'm going to move things around here to how I like it. I'll explain as we go what each of these does each of these different boxes but just for now I'm going to move this to this side where's the thing that that side the trimmer that side I'm going to move this up in fact to there and the meters in fact now let's put the meters back down there uh Bear with me, I just want to have this how I normally like it. Let's move that to there. So I've got my media, my effects, which could be made a bit smaller. That's somewhere in a similar way that I like it. Okay, I'll let you do yours, to, <laughs> but you'll probably find that you've got your own sort of uh, way of doing things. So the first thing we're going to do then is we're going to import some files. You can either double click in the empty space here or click on import. And for the purpose of today, I'm going to import everything. In fact, let's just import everything, shall we? And all the things that you want to use for your video go into here. You, you can drag and drop them from your desktop and put them in, or like I say, click on the import and load them like that. My laptop is now hot for some reason. So what we're trying to create today then, and this is just as an example, is a scene 
we're going to redo a scene from um, The Shining. If I can find it, story time. There we go, right. I'll have a quick look at that in the trimmer and I'll explain what the trimmer does in a minute. So this is a scene from the movie The Shining, which is a Stephen King film. And what I intended to do with this scene, she, she goes in a minute, has a look at a typewriter. And it's a famous scene where she realises that her husband, who's been sitting there supposedly writing a book, has started to go insane and has written Jack? has written the same thing again and again instead of actually writing a book. So he's written, I think it's all work and no play makes Jack a door boy again and again, hundreds and hundreds of times. My intention is to change that writing to my business name, Photo Medium. Let's just have a quick look. So she, she finds out that he's written All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Yes. Let's close that trimmer. In fact, before we close the trimmer, I'll show you how we use it because I'm going to actually use this scene. Now, you heard there she mentioned the name Jack, so I don't want to have any of that in the video. But let's just go from let's go from here start oh at the bottom you have a set in point and set out point so start and finish and you'll notice when I click start then this first bit grayed out so it's not going to be used I'm going to scrub forward <laughs> And that'll be my end point. Once you set your start and end point, left click and drag it down into your timeline, into your editor. It will give you perhaps this warning, the editor sequence differs to the one that you're using. Do you want to change it? I'm going to click no in this case, just so I can show you something. And I'm going to close the trimmer for now, just so we can see what we're doing. So now the viewer is the viewer screen is the bit we're making. Right? It shows you exactly what you're creating. Now I want to resize this. The way we do that in the editor, right click, transform, and fit to frame. And as you can see, it's now a full size 1080, which was what we selected. Um, the other thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete all the audio from this scene. Um, there's two, two or three ways of doing this. You can either left click on this line, slide it to the bottom, and it sort of tells you there how many decibels it is. You see it's going down to minus 6, minus 9, minus 13. Or if you want to remove it completely, right click, unlink and now it's now unlinked the audio from the video so you can click again on the audio and it doesn't select this and just hit delete on your keyboard so now we only have video without audio happy so far I hope oh this is all PC based by the way I don't like Macs because I don't like giving money to Apple for no reason so if you've got a Mac, I'm sorry I don't know any of the shortcuts or terminology. Delete probably is um, probably cost you money to use it or something knowing Apple. Anyway, back to the video. We're going to make our first cut in the video. And all I'm going to cut out here is anything where the view is of these paper scenes. So she's looking down, there we go. And there's our first view of the paper. Up here we have some buttons to move the video left and right next frame so I'm going to just forward that to the very first frame just double check that's the frame I want to cut and on the editor you've got some tools down here I won't cover all of those during this lesson 
but the one we're interested in is the razor blade and as it may suggest it's to cut the video so once it goes red left click go back to the cursor and as you can see now we've got our first cut made into a video congratulations I'm going to move this across a bit and I'm now going to add another video track above this and the way we do that is right click on your track insert track and as it says video 2 has been entered into the timeline into the editor I'm also going to add an audio track so we've got two audios and two videos and that will come apparent in a minute so what I want to do now is replace that scene where she first looks at the typewriter and I filmed this myself with my wife I've got a couple of scenes here double click in the, so we can have a look in the trimmer and as you can see I've got a scene here where I actually used a typewriter to put my own name into the scene now at the beginning there nothing moves to start with so what I want to do is start the video just when it starts to scroll and go back a little bit and we'll put a start point there in point scroll 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 and as you can see the paper drops and shows the background now I want to avoid that so I'm going to go back a bit and we'll do it till there and that'll be the out point left click drag that across and I'm going to put that in video 2 just above close the trimmer for now just so we can see what we're doing slide that back across and let's have a quick look so she's now gone to the typewriter now something's not right there is it it's too close and too zoomed in so what we've forgotten to do is right click transform fit to frame and there we go that's better right I need to cut this off as well this is from the original video so let's find the end of that and we're going to put a cut and delete right click remove or just press the delete button slide that back across <coughs> just to double check happy days right I'll, I'm gonna you could also delete the audio from my track um, but I'm gonna leave that for now because I might be able to use that later on so scrub forward on the main video and she's now looking at a pile of paper with some pens in the background but this has got Jack's name on instead of photo median so I need to replace that so yeah again do exactly the same thing use the forward frame buttons to find the first shot of it select the slice tool wait for the red line to appear and slice it and in this case we're going to do also slice the last scene so I don't forget so there we go forward it to the last scene Where is it? and slice go back to the cursor but the selection tool is called officially select the bit we don't want to use and delete it and we're going to replace that with our footage or my footage 
double click so we can have a close look at our footage in the trimmer see if this has got the zoom yeah that's got the zoom so I'm going to do this slightly opposite way around with an end point and the start point slide that over and put it in video 2 close the trimmer and we'll have a quick check now if you want to zoom in on your editor in fact let's do the one thing I forgot last time right click transform fit to frame if you want to zoom in on your editor at the bottom here you've got a slider so you can actually zoom in now the reason I'm zooming in is as you can see here the selection I've made is actually slightly longer than the film itself underneath so all I'm going to do is grab the film itself move it across whenever you see a red line it means things match up so red line we know that that now is matching up to the scene itself quick double check And we're going to do the third cut. So here we go. As you can see, it says all about Jack, so we want to get rid of that now. Slice tool, slice it, get to the end of the scene. Slice it again, selection tool, select it and delete it and bring in your own footage. Um, which one have we got here? Let's have a look. I'm not too sure on this one. So we start there my good lady wife Susanna doing the acting that'll do end point smaller slide that across to video 2 in this case I'm going to just drop the sound close the trimmer so we can see what we're doing slide the original video back across we're done the first step we're done so that's the cuts made now so a quick playthrough from bear in mind it's not got any audio apart from the first bit and one of the things I'm spotting already just from experience is the lighting and the, the colour of my video is slightly duller and darker than the actual original footage so there's a couple of changes I'm going to make before we go any further just have a wait till we get to the last scene so she starts looking through the paperwork see the paper's quite yellow here in fact ours isn't too bad what did I forget to do transform fit to frame right let's just move this up I'm 
I'm just going to move me from the bottom of the screen to the top corner. Okay, on this particular scene then, I believe that this is too dark. So looking across into your effects panel, you'll see a paragraph called color correction or color grading. So we're going to color correction. You can either try the auto colors and the auto contrast and auto levels. Let's just see what that does. And I think that's made it too white. So I'm going to, you can either then edit, undo or press control Z. Go back to the effects panel and I'm going to change the, what shall I change? In fact, the gamma, let's try gamma or exposure would be the one I'd probably look at. So the gamma, in fact, Edit Control Z or just Control Z. Let's do the exposure. Drop down the exposure. We'll have a play around with this slightly. Just want to bring it out a little bit, not too much. Two ways of doing it either grab the slider or if that's too jerky. When you highlight the numbers here, you see an arrow left and right. And again, if you just left click with the mouse, it will move it slowly. What does the offset do? In fact, we'll leave it at that. It's a bit too much colour. I don't like that. I'll have a play around with it later. Right, but that's just to show you that you can wait where you get your added effects to change the colour grading or the colour of your video. Happy, happy, yes? That is our video cut. What we need to do now is look at audio. Now, because I borrowed this off uh, the internet, if I was to put this up on YouTube now, straight away I'll get copyright this, copyright that, mainly because of the music and the sound, etc, etc. So I'm going to put my own music track in here. And I've managed to get hold of some various different music tracks. Um, music is quite difficult to come by. Uh, I, pay, I pay annually for a, uh, a website called Artlist. Um, so that I can get licensed music. All right. So when you're using music, you either have to make it yourself, or I believe there are some tracks on YouTube that are license uh, are copyright free that you can use as well. Um, let's just have a listen to some of these. What I've got already. Double click again. You can hear them in the trimmer. that one just for speed Drag that across and we're going to put that into audio. Where are we putting that? Audio 1 in fact. Close the trimmer. Mm. In fact it's not long enough. Delete. What's this one like? Let's just use the whole thing, see if that's long enough. Put it into audio one. 
close the trimmer so we can have a look. And even that's not long enough. Oh, let's stop there. Oh, it is long enough. Right. Let's zoom out a bit. Not quite long enough. How long is that? 1 minute 18, 1 minute 13. <laughs> Fat, there we go. Right. Remove that. Right, again, with audio, you can use the trimmer to listen to it to make sure it's the right sort of thing you want to use. So double click on your audio track, or your music track in this case. I'm going to click play just to have a listen. That'll do me nicely. I'm going to, in this case, it's rather than trim it, I'm going to use the whole thing. So you can either drag it from here, so let's just do that. Close the trimmer. Trimmer's like a preview box. Um, which one was it? It was the power tool thing. There we go. I'm going to put that into audio one. And you see now why I created an extra audio track so that I could have these ones if I needed them underneath. If you put audio on top of each other in hit film, whichever audio you put on last, will override the stuff that's underneath. So create yourself a couple of tracks just so you've got a bit of flexibility. Um, okay, on this side, we have an, an audio meter and you're trying to create audio that doesn't go above these minus numbers so it doesn't start getting plus three plus four because that means you've um, <clears throat> your audio is blown out and it will sound horrible let me just show you what I mean by that so if I was to play this now you see these are going into plus, plus numbers <laughs> it's too loud it'll end up being distorted so I'm going to drop this down to about minus four and I wanted this typewriter scene so I'm going to put the typewriter up a little bit just to see if we can hear that drop that down to about minus five put that up to as high as it will go about ten Perfect. Right. Okay. So that is the basics of cutting a video, adding audio. Let me just trim this off at the end so it's not going on too long in the scene. If you want your audio to, if you have to cut your audio and you want it to have a smooth ending. You can use the effects panel again because there's various ones for audio as well <coughs> in this one where it says audio transitions you have a fade button or a fade option click left click sorry uh, drag that across to your audio in fact you have to select your audio first sorry so select your audio Place it on the end and let's just zoom in to look see what that does it's telling you it's a fade out and you can make this as long and as short as you want and what that will do it will nicely fade your audio out like so but have a play around with the effects don't be afraid of trying them out um, you can always press Control Z or Edit Undo to go back a step. Happy with that, right? <clears throat> so we've cut our audio, we've put our own tracks in. 
We've had a look at the colour grading. Remember we changed the colour on this one, made it a bit brighter. Um, you can also do, just to show you, in the controls, so I've selected that track where I added the colour or the lighting exposure. If you want to duplicate that exposure in other, in other snippets, right click, copy, select your tracks, holding down control to select duplicates and paste here and as you can see both of those now have got that same exposure applied to them but we'll leave it at that right <coughs> other effects you can think about adding is sound effects so when she starts walking at the beginning you might want to add some footsteps um, when the guy appears at the end, oh sorry, here, she's breathing quite heavy, you might want to add some breathing sound effects. And again, you can get these sort of sound effects free online if you look, look around carefully. And the last bit, when he appears, he's obviously said something to her, but she turns around. Okay, the final bit then, I've messed around and done my own little tweaks with this video. But I need to show you how to save it. You see this little blue line at the top here? This is your contents in and out window. Um, easiest way of doing this, right click, set to contents or shortcut P as it says, and it will put this blue line at the end of your video editing. All right. You're then gonna you're then gonna export it export contents and it says this timeline has now been added to your export queue <coughs> do you want to look at your export queue now or do you want to continue working so we want to export the film we want to save the film so go to export it takes you to this window as you can see we've got the film here ready to go this is the name of it it's an mp4 format and you've got an option here to click where you want to save it to so we're going to do that and let's just call it what should we call it we'll call it uh, video cut final call it what you want all right and save and then simply click on start exporting. Now before you do that, bear in mind, the bigger your video, the more brain power that it's gonna use for your laptop or PC. So it's a good idea to have a PC or laptop that's got a lot of RAM, a lot of memory. Um, a lot of people have problems this is what we call rendering. So saving a video, the terminology is rendering. Uh, a lot of people have problems rendering, rendering videos because it takes time. Let me just start this, just to have a look, see how long, see how long this is going to take me with my laptop. Um, you'll see here, it's gradually going up. At the moment it's saying uh, six minutes till the end. Right, I have had rendering where it's taken six hours. Um, so it does take time, so put the kettle on, have a cup of tea, and let it run, uh, is what I say to you. Be patient with it. The smaller your video file, so if you record in 1080 or 720, the smaller your video file, the less rendering time it will take. If you want to render in 4K, be prepared it can take hours all right it depends on your pc all right so right on your christmas list for your new for your new laptop or your new pc that it's got to have a decent set of ram memory ideal ideal is around about 32 gigabyte ram um i'm running 64 gigabyte ram but it's it co took me a lot of time to save up the money to buy a laptop that's got that okay Okay, that's that. So once it's rendered, let's just stop that, just so we can see. You can then take your video, 
and put it onto social media. Um, I'll do a short video showing how to upload YouTube videos at a later date, but for today's video, that's really it. That's showing you from start to finish how to import your video, how to cut it together, how to add audio, and how to save it. Hopefully that was useful for you, and look forward to the next episode, which will be coming very, very soon. Cheers.